Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com. So, DxO Mark, that uh, wonderful website that reviews and evaluates cameras and more importantly, sensor performance, has come out with the D4S results. Now, not unexpectedly, where did I do with that here? Um, D4S to D4 performance is fairly similar. It's not really a big difference on these two. We got overall scores of 89 to 89, D4S to D4. We've got uh, portrait color depth is 24.4 on the D4S, 24.7 on the D4, very similar. Um, landscape uh, dynamic range, as they as they call this, basically just our dynamic range on this sensor, 13.3 versus 13.1, so you know essentially the same. Um, a little bit of a boost, the D4S is uh, 3,074 on the ISO score versus the D4 of 2,965. So a little bit better, you know, 100 points. Nothing really to write home about. I know some people have said online, when you see some of these reviews and comparisons of high ISO um, images, that it looks like you're getting about another stop. I would suggest not maybe half a stop of high ISO performance versus from the D4S to the D4. In line with what we normally see when Nikon releases the S version, you know, halfway through the life cycle of a camera, D3 to D3S. Very similar here, D4 to D4S. But the big news is from DxO Marks, that's what we wanted to talk about more in this video, is the comparison from the D4S to the 1DX. So the Nikon D4S, Canon, 1DX, flagship to flagship. So we've got an overall score on the D4S of 89, okay? Canon 1DX, 82. So we're seven points ahead for the D4S, so it beats the 1DX. Let's look at why. Basically, it beats it in pretty much all the categories, which is why. We've got portrait color depth of 24.4 bits on the D4S. We've got 23.8 on the 1DX. We've got 13.3 dynamic range on the D4S. We've got 11.8 on the 1DX. We've got uh, high ISO, as we said, of 3,074 score on the um, D4S, where we, on the 1DX, we've got 2,786. So fairly significant uh, improvement or uh, beatdown of the, D4, uh, the D4S beating the 1DX on high ISO abilities. Um, we look at the summary, uh, they say, in our tests, the proprietary 18 megapixel sensor in the Canon is overshadowed slightly by the Nikon D4S in every one of our use cases, accounting for the seven point lead in the DxO Mark sensor score. Individually, the Nikon D4S has slightly better color discrimination of roughly one-third a stop over the Canon, and there's a slight lead in low-light performance. But the main advantage is a close to plus two stops improvement in dynamic range. That's pretty significant. Dynamic range is, these days, kind of more important than anything else because we're already at insanely awesome high ISO abilities, which I'll still take more. But two-stop advantage of dynamic range over the 1DX uh, that's pretty significant, folks. Um, 